Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today I have some new coins to show to you and I'm going to be using my new coin scope I got for Christmas. It's pretty cool. I can't wait to show you guys the coins that I got underneath the scope. It'll be really exciting. So first coin I have is a 1900 New Orleans Morgan dollar that I got from a resale shop where we're staying right now it's kind of like a um a resale shop that sells coins and they also have antiques and stuff and jewelry and all that stuff and it's a pretty nice coin but there's a little special thing about it that requires me showing it to you underneath the scope so let's go ahead and do that so the scope is right there and I just need to take it out of its little plastic holder because I think I've tried looking at coins underneath the scope in their little plastic holder like this and the PCGS and NGC ones. But the only problem with that is then you get a, a really bad glare. So I'm going to slide the coin underneath. And there we go. I'm going to get it to focus a little better. There we go. Perfect. So you... You can see right there, this is a, a die crack right there that runs from the rim right here into the M, the E, the R, and then the I. It's really cool. A nice little die crack. I paid $23 for this coin, and I feel like I got a pretty good deal on it because it's really cool because of that nice big die crack. It's not one of the special 1900 um, New Orleans over Carson City ones. I took it to a coin shop, one that I really like to go to, to show it to them. He told me it was really cool, and he checked it for me to see if it was a New Orleans over CC. And he told me it wasn't, but it's still pretty cool because it's got these die cracks that run from the rim into the M, the E, the R, and then the I. And... Next coin I'm going to show to you guys is, you guys are probably going to be really surprised by this one. It's in the envelope. I'm going to dump it out. It is an 1878. Get ready for it. Carson City. It does have a giant rim ding rim bruise right there and the surfaces almost look like it's either been in a fire and it got a little bubbly or it's oxidizing either or and so it's not in the best grade ever but it's still pretty cool because it's a Carson City so I'll show it to you guys underneath the scope so you guys can see the Carson City let's see let me get it to the right area there we go right there there's the beloved Carson City mint mark on this coin. Oh, it's so cool to not, and nice to get a Carson City coin. Because this is the only second one I've got. And you guys might be very shocked by the price. I paid $16.50 for this coin. This coin shop that I went to yesterday with my grandma, they have a... A $16.50 Morgan dollar um, box that you can look through. It's really small. It's probably 5 inches by 5 inches and it's square. And I looked through there and I found a coin that I liked that I thought I was going to get. It was an 1878 8 tail feather Morgan. I thought, hey, even though I already have one, it's still pretty cool. I might as well get it. So I grabbed it and I was looking and I was holding it waiting to get it and I was looking around in the display cases and he was like hey I have another box it was probably like a foot long and four inches wide and it was full of Morgan and Peace dollars and I dug through it and I was finding a lot of 1892s and 91s and all that fun stuff then I saw this 1878 and I looked on the back and it was a Carson City I was like are you kidding me I'm so getting that so I was super excited and stoked about finding this. After I saw that, I was like, you know, I'm going to get this instead of that 1878. If I really want it, it might be here next time for me to get. 
So yeah, I'm really excited about getting another Carson City to add to my collection. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!